This object held value in the mind of a child. What, what do you have to say for yourself? It was inevitable. The child would have eventually forgot the ball in the backyard, and the ball would deflate on its own. It was a distraction, a distraction from the imminent detachment of the material world. But deflating the ball was based on your judgment of value. And is that judgment not based on your perception of reality? Certainly. However, my perception is based in pure philosophical analysis. Explain. This is unhindered philosophical inquiry. I have abandoned myself the illusions that tempt me, and the result is pure unhindered observation. claim to see the world through the eyes of a child. It is clear that you have decided nothing matters, but that decision is based solely on your own experience. Your opinion is not shared by existence as a whole, thus how can you claim objectivity? Death will come and remove us from everything we cherish in this world. Value is simply a means of entertaining ourselves while we prolong the inevitable. We cannot deny the existence of death. But what death brings is utterly unknown. Life may seem meaningless when faced with an ending, but that ending gives us perspective on the impermanence of now. Death will come, of that we can all be sure. But by no means must death shroud the wondrous mystery of life. Bringing it back to the ball. You have been given life, and so far you have approached it from the position of a destroyer. You must decide. Commit to your philosophy. End your own existence. Or, rid yourself of this mess and live devoid of analysis.
Excuse me. Is, is this yours? No, it's not. But, but I just saw you drop it. I was carrying it, yes, but it was never mine. What's in it? It's a mystery. What? A woman gave it to me a while back. She said there's something I can learn from it. Well, did you? It exists. That's all I know. What are you writing? I'm not sure yet. That's perfect. I don't know. I guess I came to this mountain because I wasn't sure why I woke up every morning. I guess I came here to end it, you know what I mean? Or find something else. And I think I found it. I think I found a way to explain the true miraculousness and immenseness of this world. Is life beautiful? Yes. That's all you need. It's really involuntary, you know? Like a mother pulling her child through a crowd. If you concentrate, you can feel your mind and body being pulled through time. It's something I've realized I will never fully fathom, this thing we call life. But I don't need an explanation. That would just ruin the suspense. Life simply is, and any judgment you pass is just for the sake of keeping yourself sane. It's all so simple it will drive you mad, and I've been set on a destination for so long, but now I am empty. In all honesty, I've learned nothing. I've had to unlearn. The truth is, is that I am the world, watching itself. <laughs>